Welcome back to End Times Prophecy News. Well, 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 look who the disgraced Donna Brazil is working for now. Once a sodomite, now probably pushing 60 years old, got blue-gray hair, professing to be a Christian woman, but it's still a sodomite. Donna Brazil, also known as the debate question leaker, is now working for Time Magazine. Donna Brazil, Russian DNC narrative played out exactly as they hoped. Time Magazine, that's perfect for her. Right, right, perfectly right in there with the mainstream media. Disgraced CNN analyst Donald Brazil is now writing for Time Magazine, a sister publication of CNN. Both are owned by Time Warner. You know, the guy who owns Time Warner, he, he believes in uh, killing off most of mankind, just like the George Guidestones are, 92... Uh, percent of mankind or uh, reducing mankind down to approximately 500 million people from 7 billion. Actually, it's like 7.2 billion, I believe now. Russian, Rush Limbaugh just deciphered the code message to Trump from Comey's hearing, and it's bad, folks. Rush Limbaugh, very good. According to conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh, the message from the House Intelligence Committee hearing to President Trump is to stop the drain the swamp stuff or face impeachment. You know, I've been saying this already today. And, and you know, and I saw this comment on one of these videos that I made that, you know, a guy goes, he gets like 26 thumbs up because he goes against me and says, oh, I thumbed your video down because you said, uh, if you don't get rid of Comey, you're going to get taken down, Trump. There's a, many things wrong with this. Okay, A lot of you are fooling for this, are falling for this, that I never taught that from the Bible that Donald Trump was invincible or something. I've never have said that. I never have said that he's never wrong either. Okay, I said he's God's servant. That he fails just like anyone else. He is also a Babylon. Okay, that's what the Bible prophecy is about. And it rhymes with the personal prophecy. Okay, so the problem with this is that thinking that Donald Trump is invincible and nobody's going to take him down. He's smarter than everyone else. And he's just Superman hero of the day as you've turned him into an I idol. That's right, you're idol worshiping. God will have none of that. If you're a brother or sister in Christ, even though there's no such thing as sister in Christ in the Bible, because in the resurrection, we are all going to be like the sons of God, and there is no marriage in heaven, as Jesus says, but you can't have idol worship. And God asks you to pray for many people. So the proper answer is, is that you pray that uh, the Lord does his will and takes care of Comey and takes care of Donald Trump as well. And that his prophecy is fulfilled and that America is preserved safe. We don't sit there and put Donald Trump on a pedestal. Ooh, that's a bit fast way to get God upset with you. Don't ever do that. So when I said Donald Trump, you could get taken down from Comey. He should have fired him many months ago. I believe him definitely right. And he's an obstructionist, and he's and he's not going to get himself fired. the 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 comment was he's going to uh, that Donald Trump's just make uh, letting him uh, incriminate himself. That's ignorant. Okay, he's got the global elites behind him. Anyway, moving on. According to conservative talk show host. Rush Limbaugh, the message from the House Intelligence Committee hearing to President Trump is to stop the drain the swamp stuff or face impeachment. He's right. Monday on his nationally syndicated radio show, conservative talker Rush Limbaugh maintained a House Intelligence Committee hearing that featured testimony from FBI Director James Comey and NSA Director Michael Rogers was meant to send a message to President Donald Trump and his administration. Limbaugh argued that although there was some good questions from Republican members during the hearing, it was meant to be a warning shot at Trump, allow Washington Republicans to run the town or face possible impeachment. Partial transcript. These hearings today, what happened last week and the week before that, 
What happened during the transition period, what all this is, can be explained simply by saying, look at how terrified they are in the Washington, New York establishment of Donald Trump and draining the swamp, the never Trumpers on both sides of the aisle. There are conservative never Trumpers today celebrating over the fact that Comey made it official that there's an investigation of Trump, including with the Russians. These people know that there isn't any evidence of this, but that doesn't matter. What everybody in Washington supports is the smearing, the slander, and the libel of Donald Trump. And these hearings today, well, the FBI Director James Comey is trying to save the jobs of a lot of people. That's right, the coup. He's trying to save the careers of the whole lot of people, his included, and I think, in an inappropriate way. And the Republicans in this committee, look folks, I've been waiting, I've been patiently waiting, I've been trying to hold it, keep the powder dry. But the Republicans on this committee, I know it's early and they're gonna go on all day, but so far outside of Trey Gowdy and a question from Peter King and Devin Nunes, the chairman, there just hasn't been much. That's right. Are you still investigating the Clinton Foundation, Director Comey? I can't say. By the way, Comey said he got special permission to reveal this investigation. Who gave him that special permission? He said he went to the Department of Justice. Who's over there? Who runs that? That would be Jeff Sessions. The Trump administration itself grant permission for Comey to announce this today? Interruption, well, no. My point there is that there's no attempted cover-up of anything going on there. The Trump administration could very well have said Jeff Sessions could have said, Comey, look, it's just like you said last summer about Hillary. We don't detail ongoing investigations, but he today was given permission to do just that, and he's running it with it. And the whole point of this today, and by the way, it doesn't mean I'm not going to go through this and give you what the real news of these hearings is today and what the backdrop of all this is because there's a real salient factor that's driving this from the Democrat side that is never going to be reported or commented on, which I'm going to touch on myself today. But as I say, the purpose of this is to further the narrative that Trump is illegitimate and that he should not be president, that his election was the result of tampering by the Russians. So the objective is that Trump either stops this reform business he's got, stops this drain the swamp stuff and starts letting the Washington Republicans run the town again or they're gonna impeach him. That's the message being sent today. You either straighten up and fly right or you're gone. We're coming for you is the message of these hearings today. I agree. Trump's hammer is about to drop though. A huge red flag has been uncovered and it's bad. Edward Snowden points out how the NSA directors danced around the topic of who actually has access to the surveillance of President Trump by ducking the question and stating only the individuals tasked with collecting the data NSA analysts have visibility into the real names of the individuals, carefully avoiding who has the authority to unmask the individuals. And so Edward Snowden said, red flag, NSA director, careful to discuss only who can unmask USP identities in reporting, not who can access collection involving USPs. How many communications in which at least one participant is American are held by the NSA? The question not answered in Congress today. Nothing was answered hardly at all. Woody Harrelson just called it quits after 30 years. He has quit smoking, smoking pot. Oh, he finally decided to get smart instead of being stupid for all these years. Breitbart reports that actor Woody Harrelson is almost as famous for his outspoken advocacy of marijuana as he is for his movie roles, but now after 30 years of advocacy, Harrelson, Harrelson is swearing off pot. He doesn't want to be a pothead anymore. In a new interview, the Hunger Games star revealed that his pot smoking days are over. Harrelson, 55, told Vulture that he stopped smoking pot a year ago. You know, it's amazing because I smoked pot for many years myself too. And I thought, man, I just want to live, get old and continue to smoke pot. But you know, I start getting older and I realize my brain doesn't work as well. And I said, and then, you know, of course the conviction and, and uh, chastisement of the Holy Spirit was working on me as well, big time, you know, but as I got into the Bible, I said, no, I ain't doing this anymore. I'm done. And it, it, it wasn't an overnight process, I have to admit. 
But anyway, the point here is that I wanted to bring up was is that when you get older, you're getting slower. What do you want to get slower for? <laughs> I mean, smoking pot is like killing your brain quicker. You're already your brain's already getting killed as you age. So what do you want to kill it quicker for? He said, I'm a party animal, the Oscar nominee said, but on the other hand, I haven't, and I'm now extremely moderate, and I actually stopped smoking pot almost a year ago. The interviewer noted that he, too, had a problem with pot, saying that it messed with his head and made him less productive. Harrelson agreed to a degree with that characterization, saying, yeah, that was a little bit of my issue, just 30 solid years of just parting too effing hard. Yeah. What do you hear constantly from libertards and from uh, pot smokers, drug users. You, used, you hear that. That's what you hear. Anyway, thank you for listening. Remember, stay clean. Do the right thing. As the Bible says, you are called on to righteousness, called on to do good works. Be born again. Put off the old flesh. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Start a new day, and God bless. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land.